Hickok 45 here. Good to see you. It occurred to me, I have had a deficit in my life lately. I have not been firing any of my 1911s enough. So I'm going to try to do something about that right now. <laughs> ah, that felt good. Yes, I needed some 1911 therapy. The old Series 80, you've maybe seen it before. And uh, this is kind of the 1991 A1 version of it. Even though they quit printing that on the slide uh, around 2000, I think. When they came out with the 1991s, they, uh, they were mostly, I think, parkerized with uh, plastic grips and everything. And then around 2000-ish, somewhere in there, they quit putting the 1991 A1 on them. And they started giving them a better finish and put nice grips on them. I changed the grips out on this one. But they're just a nicer finish and everything. So it was 2010 when we did the first video on this firearm. Can you believe that? And we've not done a chapter two. We ought to be spanked for that. That's hard to believe. I think it's appeared in a video or two. But uh, anyway, I noticed that. And so I got it out. <laughs> now, nah, they know better than that. Let's shoot something else while we're here. Like that tank down there. Oh, it makes a nice sound. <laughs> Boom. Big old 45 slugs. They're fun to shoot sometimes. Well, actually, they're always fun to shoot. What do I mean by sometimes? You know, I see a cowboy behind that plate. It's pop. Boom. Boom. Got a hostage in front of him there. <laughs> and a folding pen. Kind of hiding. Hit. Boom. Oh, let's go back to the table. I'll give you a little look at it again. Yeah, this this is one of those pistols that it's just sort of been on the bottom of the stack or whatever, and I, I tend to forget about it. I have some really nice 1911s. I have that Ed Brown Special Forces that, that has a beautiful beaver tail, feels great. And, uh, you know, got the historic ones, World War II uh, firearms. We tend to bring those out sometimes on special occasions and just sort of forget about this. Uh, I bought it in 2004, so that's 15 years I've had this, this pistol. And it's, I, I forget how neat it is because it is kind of uh, the classic version uh, to some extent. You know, the 1991s, when they came out, they're Series 80s, they, uh, you know, they put a little bit better sights on them. And, but I mean, but they're an A1. They've got the long trigger, like the, the actual original, uh, 1911s in the flat mainspring housing and you got the cutouts and everything of the a1 uh, they got the real hammer you know it's not a commander hammer thing like that they got the straight uh, what would you call it just vertical uh, serrations i like those uh, i've got an old springfield that's kind of a remake of the original colts too 1911s but they've got a, an angled serration to me that 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 takes it out of the category really i know it's splitting hairs uh, splitting serrations, but it, but if they get the vertical serrations, I mean, to me that's essential uh, to to really look like uh, the original World War One, World War Two, you know, uh, versions of the firearm. But that that really is that's that's pretty much an A1 with you know a little bit better sights and and uh, for me it's got the best of both worlds. I probably said that in the first video because I like a flat main spring housing. And I like a long trigger uh, like the original 1911s had World War One. Uh, but the only, the only negative on the originals was uh, the beaver tail that didn't exist and, and I get uh, hammer bite on those. Love them, but I do get hammer bite. And uh, this has just enough uh, extension on that safety, I don't, you don't get the hammer bite. Nothing like a high rise like Ed Brown uh, beaver tail. Uh, because you know we've learned over the years to get that beaver tail the gunsmiths and gun makers can put that beaver tail up there so high as high as it possibly can get that it actually makes the firearm feel better and shoot better it really does so you lose that and when I picked this up and shot it uh, yesterday a couple times I uh, it occurred to me wow feels like some of those old SIGs I used to criticize that where uh, you know the line of uh, the bore axis is, is up higher than, than the gun, you know, so it does make a difference, but great gun. And let me load it again, and let's see, there's a round that got away over here, I guess. Wait a minute, that's a nickel case. Wait a minute, what caliber is it? 
I don't get that. What's going on? Where did I get that box? Oh, I go. That's an Atmex 45 slate. <laughs> that wasn't that clever. Yeah, Atmex.com, another company that helps us a great deal. You see Homer there? <laughs> that's a coin I uh, I ordered from them. It's a it's a uh, well, it's from the Perth Mint that uh, they offer coins from all those. Uh, so old Homer, you know, he's having a beer there on that coin, and that's pretty cool. I thought Homer deserved a little. Uh, little publicity but anyway uh atmex.com they help us a lot in fact right now they're they're having their annual uh, it's not a sale but they uh they they get the uh, 2020 the new eagles whether it's gold or the american eagles like these are the american eagle silver eagles they get these early or they get them as early as anybody does the 2020s and they'll be having promotions on those just to make you aware check out their website links are in our description and you'll see they're gonna have giveaways uh like I don't know, I think every week. So check that out. They'll be doing a lot of giveaways and uh, their social media pages that cover that, their uh, Instagram and everything. So keep track of that. And we appreciate their help. Uh, we would shoot their ammo, but I think it get kind of expensive. Let's just shoot the regular stuff here from Federal. And uh, these mags, I haven't had any problem yet, have I? Uh, I upgraded my mags recently. I've, uh, I've got some new Wilson combat magazines i don't know you know they're they're supposed to be one of the best uh i haven't had any trouble yet with these brownells 45 mags and uh you know with the old 1911s that historically has been one of the issues i know back in the 70s early 70s when i got my first one if i didn't use colt magazines i could count on malfunctions a lot has changed since then but uh because yeah, there's a lot of good mags out there now, so I'm not I'm not trying to sell you on Wilson Combat. I know they're one of the good. Chip McCormick's supposed to be good. And there's a lot of them now that are good. Uh, Ed Brown mag. There's probably 15 different companies that make really good uh, 1911 magazines. But I, I, you know how I am. I, you've seen some of the 1911 videos, and I've got a hodgepodge, a bunch of mags, and and if I have a malfunction with one, yeah, I'm never sure how long I've had that one, and, and maybe it was a spring issue. So one reason I did that, I've got about six or eight of them here, is if we get a 1911 in for review, which I have one on the way actually, and I, I've been building up for it to make sure I've got some really fresh mags, I don't want it to be the uh, the magazines, okay, if it has malfunctions. So let's, yeah, we don't want to blame it on the mags. And I forgot to wear my mag pouch. How could I forget that? Let me get another magazine or two. Here, stick in my pocket. The ultimate mag pouch. My pocket. Whoa, boy, we got things to shoot. Let's just shoot and let you go. How's that? Ha <laughs> sweet. I'll tell you what, I still like a 1911. They're never obsolete. Kill that hog. And that bowling pin. Boom. I love the bowl. I love the bowl. Let's try out the gong, okay? I think I heard it, I'm not sure. Alright. Get some new ammo in. Ah, that was the gong. <laughs> Yeah, man. Let's try a red plate. <sighs> All right. Got to focus on this. <sighs> okay, going high, looks like. <sighs> All right. You know what I did? I changed my sight picture to a little bit lower. And that took care of it. Let's try the uh, coffin. Get some more ammo. So no malfunctions yet. I'm pleased. I am pleased. All right. <laughs> so I go back to the days when uh, a lot of those early uh, 1911s would malfunction if you didn't have the right ammo and mags. There we go. Uh, let's try that red plate again. All right. That's a sweet sound. 
Let's shoot something right here like a cowboy. <laughs> yeah, I just want to get out and shoot it again. And I've got another mag too. I'll empty it and probably let you go home. Uh, yeah, these old things. I, I, I will insult people who carry them every day. I know I don't mean to do that because they, they're still viable. Can't beat the trigger. And uh, they can be very reliable. Uh, imagine that, me figuring that out since 1911. It's been known. But uh, it's not a carry gun for me generally. You know, it's, They're just heavy. Uh, you know, you don't need a 45 ACP, although it's a great cartridge. Uh, and I, I tend to view them, as I think I've said before, kind of like my, if nothing else, now I've known to get a wild there, hair and carry, my little Cobra carry 1911. Uh, but uh, I treat them in a lot of ways like a, a cold single action army. Just a classic pistol, classic firearm and uh, that works. And it might not be the very best choice for your carry permit, but they work and uh, they are fun and the history is thick with these firearms think about it 1911 man that's almost a hundred years ago oh there's a pin we missed Boom. let's just shoot a couple of things here yeah we got another mag one more mag what should we shoot with that last magazine Look at that big old slug. And one thing about it, you cannot hate a big old 230 grain slug like that. All right, I know it. Let's just put them on that propane tank. I like the sound of that. <laughs> yeah, she still works, even though I have neglected her for a long time. I, I apologize, I apologize, Series 80. But a uh, sweet old uh, old pistol, can't beat a 1911. If, if, if you think having a 1911 in your collection will make you a FUD, come on, get a life, uh, think a little bit, think a little bit deeper for a change. They're classics, I and mean, they're great range guns, fun to shoot, like picking up a Colt single action or a million other firearms. When you grab that thing, you're, you're, you're grasping a piece of history. I mean, you really are, and uh, you know I don't know how anybody could like hate one. Uh, just, just fun to shoot. And if that's the only reason you want one, yeah, I ought to have one as my collection, just because I love history and I study history and the history of firearms and everything. Maybe you don't want a new one with all the hot shot stuff on. Maybe you want something more like this, or there's some that, that you, know, you can get replicas of, that are even closer to the original 1911. The, 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 got the pathetic sights and everything this is exactly like the originals so or if you've got the wallet for it pick you up a usgi one you know they're a good investment believe it or not i know you tell your spouse uh every firearm is a good investment but you know some of those actually are they just increase in value like real estate just no you may not get rich but they're not going to depreciate and go the other way so i'll shut up and let you go it's a good day. It's a nice, beautiful fall day, and I've been shooting a 1911, and, uh, you know, how's it getting any better? Life is good. Oh, yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, just sticks right on there, you know, really affordable, really cool option to Im improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to Ballastol.com talongungrips.com and also while you're out there i'm juggling all these things here also uh while you're on the internet please do check out our other social media like hickok 45 on facebook there's also hickok 45 on twitter the real hickok 45 on instagram there's a john underscore hickok 45 on instagram where i do some things there's hickok 45.com uh you can find us also on gun streamer so check out all that stuff and then watch more videos